Hey there everyone, I'm Imanshu Mehra and you are watching Technomania. If you like fun and quirky videos then consider subscribing to my channel. A few days back when Wondershare launched the latest update to Filmora video editor series, the new update named as the Filmora 9. I was super excited more than anyone and when I downloaded it and started using it, I became so frustrated that I made a video on my frustration on how much worse the new update is. And much to my surprise, the video gets 16k views right now, which I never thought that this many will see the video of mine where I was just destroying Filmora 9. But that is past and I know that Team Filmora will solve the mistakes of Filmora 9 in the future. But a very amazing thing happened after the 4 days of the launch of Filmora 9 is that that Wondershare launched Filmora Pro. Now I came to know about Filmora Pro back in 2017. Well while trying to buy some new FX pack, I clicked on the product section and there a Filmora Pro tab was written where when I clicked it did nothing. It was blank and later they swapped the tab with Filmora screen. But recently when Team Filmora launched the Filmora Pro. I was more excited than ever I could be, so I decided to give it a go. So after downloading, when I first opened the Filmora Pro, which is in the new purple logo, at the opening, I was welcomed with this huge screen, with only two options. Now this is the same welcome tab like the Filmora 9, with the same two options, but this welcome tab is huge and covers the whole screen. Now once we enter into Filmora Pro, the first thing I noticed that the interface is nothing like the old Filmora or even Filmora 9. It is completely new, like literally, created new from scratch. Now if you look at this interface then you can notice that this interface is a lot like the Adobe Premiere Pro and HitFilm Pro mixture. Now more on the HitFilm Pro side with the lookalike media timeline and even the master feature and the import section tab. But the color aspect feels of the Filmora Pro is just like Adobe Premiere Pro. Now before moving further, if any of you were thinking that Filmora Pro is just a copy of HitFilm or Adobe, then that is totally true. And that is also false. And it is not the case. You see, this new version, the Filmora Pro, just by looking at this interface, anybody can tell that why it is named Pro. Now this is not your old Filmora who is made for people who wanted to learn video editing and want an easy approach to the things of video editing. This Filmora Pro is for those who want to empower their creativity, who are bounded by the limitation and wanted to express themselves uniquely and openly. So if you say that this is a copy of the latter, then remember, video editing softwares like HitFilm, DaVinci Resolve or Avid or Premiere Pro are all the copies of each other. Yes. The reason these softwares while being completely different from different companies looks the same is because of the learning curve. For example, if you started editing on HitFilm Pro and wants to try something more that HitFilm Pro does not allow, then you will switch to Premiere Pro and when you switch to Premiere Pro, it will become easy for you to navigate because of the lookalike UI interface of the HitFilm Pro. So it becomes easy for a user to use a different software for different use while still being able to navigate it. And this is why Filmora Pro is so much like Adobe and HitFilm Mixture because every company want the users to feel like home even if they have to implement the lookalike UI of the different version. Anyway, this new Filmora Pro is advanced and I mean super advanced. It can do stuff that you can never do in old Filmora or Filmora 9. And it also has titles and effects in build. And I am not going to go into the depths of the feature of this software, but maybe I make a tutorial and separate video of this software, but not in this video. Now is this software all goody goody? Well no. There are some cons to this new version too. Being a completely new software, the old Filmora license does not work on this. So you have to buy this version separately to use it. But there is a catch. If you are an old Filmora license holder, then you will receive some discount in the price to buy the Filmora Pro. 
The pricings are $150 for lifetime and $100 for yearly. As far as I know, the discount is around 20 to 30%. I'm not confirmed, but yeah, it is around in that ratio. No render button in this version too. Wondershare decided to drop the render button and launch the proxy system in Filmora 9 and Filmora Pro. But while the proxy system of Filmora 9 sucks, the proxy system of Filmora Pro is advanced and you actually don't need a render button for Filmora Pro. Now this is good. So we don't need a render button in Filmora Pro but still Team Filmora it will be cool to have a render button or a render tab like the Adobe Premiere Pro or HitFilm Pro because while we don't need the render button now in Filmora Pro it will be cool to have one just for the emergency case. The third thing that I found is that there is no nesting feature. Now Adobe Premiere Pro has this feature known as nesting where you can merge a video and audio together. This feature comes handy when you record audio and video separately and don't want to edit audio every single time and match it with the video. Nesting feature here helps a lot by merging two clips together so that we don't need to always match them all the time. But Filmora Pro does not have this feature. Team Filmora, please take this into consideration as nesting is one essential thing and I think that Filmora Pro should have a nesting feature. The fourth thing that I noticed is there is no 3D architecture in Filmora Pro. Now a basic 3D architecture will be a lot helpful in creating a advanced hologram effects like you can see in the background video. Please Team Filmora, at least implement a basic 3D with X, Y and Z axis change like the Adobe have. That's all. I don't think that we need an advanced 3D, just a basic 3D will do the job. Now the fifth thing that I noticed is the a lack of masking feature. Now I very much appreciate the motion tracking in Filmora Pro, which you guys team Filmora finally implemented after so many requests. But a masking feature will also be very helpful in creating advanced effects like this. Well, Filmora Pro is everything that a video editor want, but with the implementation of these few 5 to 6 features that I just said, we'll put it into the league of softwares like HitFilm and Adobe, and that will make Filmora Pro more cool and amazing. Anyway, I am so happy that Team Filmora created this Filmora Pro, and this is exactly what a video editor wants. And now comes the main question. If Filmora Pro is a lot like HitFilm and Adobe, then why would I buy Filmora Pro and not the hit Filmora Adobe? Well at first, yeah it is true that Adobe and HitFilm are much more advanced than Filmora Pro. But look at this side. Adobe does not have a lifetime subscription. You are stuck with a subscription of $600 a year. And that is also a recurring one. So you have to pay $600 every single year to use Adobe Premiere. And HitFilm Pro also comes at $350. So if I can able to get the features of Adobe Premiere Pro and HitFilm Pro at a price of $100, then it is a good deal. And listen closely, Filmora Pro will going to evolve with every new update and with time. So I think that a competitor of Adobe and HitFilm at half a price is something a very sane person would say a great deal. Also as far as I heard. We get a completely new effects library just for the Filmora Pro. So my advice is buy Filmora Pro if you really want to do something else apart from your conventional easy video editing. If you wants to go out of your comfort zone and wants to create something amazing, then Filmora Pro is here to empower your imagination.